Leaked documents designed to discredit Qatar in Afghanistan are fake, analysts confirm. Qatar stamps out prospects of insects for food consumption following an EU approval. Great news for millions as Netflix backtracks on a password sharing ban. And finally, the western side of the AFC Champions League is heading to Qatar. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Documents that were leaked online in an effort to discredit Qatar's diplomatic role in Afghanistan have proven to be fakes. The forged documents claim that Qatar had paid over $100 million to Afghanistan's former president, persuading him to avoid resisting the Taliban. This was quickly picked up by Western media that have since pulled the reports. Analysts and experts who study the documents said they were forged and cannot be trusted. Check out our website for more on why the leaks may have been placed. Qatar's Ministry of Public Health has said no to insects for food. Authorities in Qatar say consuming insects is not permissible as per Islamic rulings. The announcement was made after the European Union added a range of insects on a list of approved food items. Over in the EU, the insect can be served frozen, in paste, dried, or in powder forms. Now, if you rely on others to access Netflix, worry not. The popular streaming service confirmed it will not go ahead with a controversial ban on password sharing. It said the new rule was mistakenly posted online but will not be implemented for users around the world. This apparent U-turn came after millions of users from around the world took to social media to slam the decision. And finally, Qatar will host the knockout rounds for the western half of the 2022-23 AFC Champions League. Eight teams will battle it out to decide who meets Japan's Urawa Red Diamonds who've already qualified as finalists from the eastern side. The western side of the Premier Asian football event was postponed due to Qatar hosting the World Cup but will not continue from February 23rd onwards. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website, www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.